back in the past when I was all on my own, I mean, I thought that there was never any hope and it was always dark. I never thought like God would ever be able to use someone like me. Even though like things that's happened to me, it still felt like God had his hand on me through the situations that I've been in. So to me, that's always been my dark side of my life. It's, yeah, sometimes it catches up with me, but now it seems like now I'm living in a brighter, more bigger, more colorful life. So to me, it is like night and day. My ex-partner wouldn't let me have any money. So that's the reason why I had to take out loans and he was taking out loans in my name as well. So yeah, it was all down to me. That's how I started to get myself in trouble. It was because I had seven kids. That's one of the reasons back then how I didn't, why I couldn't do work because I was either pregnant or they was all still little and I couldn't work. And I felt I was stupid anyway because he used to tell me I was stupid, I was fat, I was ugly. Um, and he used to manipulate me like that, so I was underneath his control until I used to run away for a little while, go into a hostel. And then he used to turn up outside the hostels and the hostels couldn't have the other women in there frightened and I had to go back to him. I had nowhere to go with the seven kids, so. And then that's when I started to get like a um, um, private place to live in. And then, um, of course, as soon as I got that, that's when the letter started coming. Um, Letitia actually answered the door to the bailiffs and they come into the house. I hid in the bedroom, on the bedroom floor, curled up in the corner while they was actually taking my stuff out the house. So hard for me to actually see that happen and they were saying, mummy, help us. These men are taking our stuff. I was saying to them, you can take the washing machine, you can take that, but just can you leave the kids stuff alone? They wouldn't. I hate going back there. I didn't want to live no more. How am I going to get out of this situation? And then I met this lovely lady called Esther. She was amazing, absolutely amazing. And um, I started telling her bits about my story of my life and stuff like that. And she said, oh, I can help you. This come through today. She goes, I'm meant to help with your debts and there's not a cost. It's done by a charity. I was like, what? So, no, that, that can't be true. So she goes, right, I'm gonna put your name forward. But it seemed like it just happened just like that. It happened in weeks. I was like, Wow, and I had my first appointment and Catherine, when she come in, she could see there was no lights in the sitting room, the curtains was closed. I had three bags of the um, um, Shop for Life bags and big bags. I had three of them full of letters that's not even been opened. And, yeah, and, Carol, and Carol and Catherine said, don't worry, we're sort for them. And then um, just before they was leaving, they said, can we pray with you? I've never prayed before in my life, never. And the warmth that come off of them too and they was praying for me was unbelievable. The only thing I could do was curl up and cry because I just felt like, wow, what has just happened to me? The whole, I just felt so warm and I felt like how much they actually cared for me. They gave me all the options. They gave me everything, every inch of the way. They was just in contact with me. Catherine was in contact with me, telling me what was going on, everything. I was constantly, I was constantly with her. Like she didn't leave me. She didn't leave my side. Or did Carol? I've been debt free now for about, I think it's about just over six years, and and them six years has been the best. I've got to say the best time of my life because I've got family, I've got friends, I've got all sorts of stuff now, and I've actually got a life. I'm I'm, I'm walking my life with God, and yeah. Yeah, it's amazing.